Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to use match and index functions together. Um, these functions are quite straightforward, quite simple. They not, are not really that useful on the own, but when you use them together, they are much more powerful. You can get really interesting calculations and these can be very, very useful too. Um, so what we have here is a table with income and tax rate. As the income is increasing, so is the tax rate. And we want to be able to find out what kind of tax we're going to have to pay on a particular amount. So in case of 32,000, as you can see, it is below 38. Uh, it's not high enough to pay 22%, so this is 50% in between, perfect. Um, but let's say, you know, 50 may be a bit too little, let's say you have to pay 18%. As you can see, this is updated, um, so the formulas work just fine. And uh, formula is obviously in this cell, I'm just going to click on it, you can see we have index function within which we have match function. And how this is done, I'm going to show you on another example. Any sort of calculation when you have ranges, like this that have assigned some other values like tax rate or bonus rate and if you like that can be done with much index so in if you think about it there can be quite a few examples you can use um so well, let's say uh, imagine you have a sales team and um there are bonuses that are awarded for um high sales okay so sales amount and then bonus so let's say for one thousand Okay, we need to start with zero and then one thousand. And I'm actually gonna get the numbers done first, so just autofill it up till six thousand. Yes, so between zero and one thousand, there'll be just one percent, so really little. Um, between one and two thousand, we're gonna get five percent, and then we can give eight percent, and then we can go in three. So I'm just gonna autofill it until the last one because the last one should get a bit of extra so we're going to give 22 everything above 6000 will be just at 22 percent so sales amount is what we all have and bonus which is what we want to know without looking in our data we want excel to do that for us so let's say sales amount may be 2789 and what is the bonus rate for that um, okay, so first of all, we're going to do, we're going to use match function to find the position of this amount within this range. So all we want to know is, is it within these two amounts, or within these two amounts, or maybe within these two amounts. And match formula will do it for us. So when you click equals and then match, and then brackets, first thing we need to find is lookup value. Lookup value is our amount. This is what we want to find and we want to find it within the lookup array don't get confused with the like whole array where would you would um, for certain functions you would highlight the whole table in this case this formula all it does it just gets this value and finds the position with it the, within this range so we're only highlighting this bit here and then a uh, match type so all it means really is this amount sits between two and three thousand so the rate you want for that amount will be eight thousand because it's not um, it's not high enough to be over three thousand so you always going for the lesser amount so less than and now we can close the brackets um, so what we expect is one two three that is what we're expecting because that will be the position of this amount within this range it's going to be um, between f two and three thousand, but falling onto this range, yeah. So we uh, we press enter now, and as you can see, that is correct. And we can che check, for instance, if we just have fourteen pound, that is number one, and this is row number one. So this just gives you um, the relative position of this um, this amount within specified range, basically. Um, so how are we now going to add index function to that? Well, what index function does, um, if we start right here, index, open the brackets, what you can see is that for index we need array and then row number and then we c and then column number that we want to return. So basically we're going to get this to be returned in our cell right here um, based on um, row number that we already have got. So this room number here, that's what we got from match. 
that this bit basically is our row so first of all we need to find array in this case array will be everything all the data we've got because we want both of these tables we want to look it up here but then we want to return it in this column so we want both of these columns highlighted as array uh, row number is our match function so that's all done and that's perfect so comma column number that we're going to return is one two if you have more columns then you need to count uh, which column is has the values that you want to have, uh, return in this case is the second column so i'm just going to put two and close the bracket so now what we're expecting is one percent let's see what that happens um that is not percent to format but as soon as i change it here we go it's one percent so let's say for amount five thousand three hundred 17% yes that's above um, above 5,000 below 6,000 so it's 70% perfect um, so now we can use this formula um, to assign it to like different people basically let's see we have sales person and we have amount and then we have bonus rate so Let's just do it quick as a quick example. Uh, we have Mike, Tom, and Kate. And Mike sold 1,200, Tom 6,040, and Kate 3,200. And the bonus rate. All we can do in this case um, is just to copy the formula that we already got. The only problem is that, as you can see, we have quite a lot of references here, and these are relative references. Once we move them, they're going to get really messed up. So what we want to do now is just to make sure that these are locked, so these are absolute. To do that, all we need to do is just press F4 key. On my computer, I need to press Function key and F4 as well. Um, so try it that way as well, if that doesn't work for you. Here, E11 is the sales amount which we're gonna have over here so this doesn't have to be locked and we'll just need to transfer it on this side which we're gonna do in a minute before that I'm gonna lock all these ranges and it's really good to use colors just to make sure you're doing the right thing okay this doesn't change obviously anything here it's still the same formula and now we can copy it and paste it right here and the only problem we've got is that our lookup value, uh, which is our money, uh, our amount, um, is not correct. So we just need to put it where it should be, and that's perfectly fine. And once we click enter, we can just drag the formula down uh, onto the cells below because everything is locked. So these arrays will stay the way they are, and this is not locked. So we will copy uh, uh, um, as we copy the formula downwards as well so let's see oh we get too much actually we didn't bargain for that much um so for one thousand we have five percent and for six thousand we've got twenty two percent and three twenty um three thousand two hundred that is eleven percent and that is perfect so in this video i showed you how to use match and index functions together in build one formula you can try building this formula separately first and then join them together but the biggest the best tip i can give you is just once you have the formula just look very carefully what the arguments in the formula are and then once you understand what you uh, looking for then that should really really help you and then you can build your own formula you can always build them separate and then embed one within another and um, and all start just with one formula and then build another one that way you can uh, always get get what you want so these are these two examples hope you liked it